So keeping with the PGA Tour side of things, news came out this week about them furthering their partnership with the DP World Tour when it was announced that full membership on the DP World Tour is now available for players who finish in positions 126th to 200 on the 2022-23 FedEx Cup fall points list. So anyone in the, you know, basically the bottom rung guys, 126 all the way to 200 can now apply for DP World Tour membership. So essentially, with this decision, the DP World Tour has agreed to become a minor league. The once great DP Tour or European Tour has agreed to become a minor league. I, ju I just can't fathom that. Well, let's look at just a few of the names in that 126 to 200 position who could go play on the DP Tour. And let me know if any of this moves any needle anywhere on the planet, especially for you listening. Have a listen. Ryan Brem. I don't even know who that is. I have no idea who Ryan Brem is, but he's in that 126 to 200. Michael Thompson. I know there was an NBA player named Michael Thompson. I didn't know there was a golfer named Michael Thompson. Bryce Garnett. S.Y. No. Maybe Cody Gribble. Any of these names grab you? Anything that's going to make you want to get up at you know, 7 a.m. to watch DP World Tour Golf over here in North America? Because you know they're five, six hours ahead of us over there. Does any of that move any dial? Now, aside from the direct family members of these guys, is there anyone on God's green earth who cares to watch Ryan Brem, Bryce Garnett, S.Y. No, or Cody Gribble? Anybody? So the DP World Tour was once Seve Ballesteros, Bernhard Langer, Greg Norman. Heck, Tiger Woods was very active on the European Tour for many years. Ernie Els, of course. So the once great DP World Tour with all those names, Seve, Langer, Norman, Woods, the Big Easy. It's now going to be Ryan Brem, Michael Thompson, Bryce Garnett, and S.Y. No. You know, how in the world have the players on that tour not come together and said, Hey, Keith Pelly, you're fired. You're driving this tour into the ground. Like, it wasn't that long ago. Like, four or five years ago, the DP World Tour was elite. It was unique. It was interesting. I loved it. Like, when I was working for Golf Talk Canada between 2017 and 20, I was always posting, you know, European Tour highlights, and those guys were always talking about it on the show. Very often now, you barely hear a peep of it, certainly not on my show and definitely not on Golf Talk Canada. I haven't... I don't hear them talking about the DP World Tour often. I'm sure they'll talk about this, but now not so much. Nobody talks about it. It has fallen off the face of the earth. And I don't think you can blame the COVID nonsense or Live Golf. You would think they would want to strengthen their relationship with Live. But instead of doing that, instead of strengthening their relationship with some of the great members of the past, the Sergio Garcias, Ian Poulter, Westwood, Casey, all these guys, no. Let's go after Ryan Bram and Bryce Garnett and Cody Gribble. That's that's their response. Instead of figuring out how to mend things with Sergio and some of their big superstars, this is what they've done. So according to this press release the DP Tour put out, this list will see players accrue race to Dubai points and based on their points can see them potentially quali qualifying for A, the DP World Tour playoffs in 2024, and B, the season-ending bonus pool in 2024 if they've played four or more counting tournaments outside the majors in line with the current DP World Tour membership regulation. So if you play four events over there, you can qualify for the race to do pie points and that, which is, I mean, hey, if I'm one of those guys in the 126 to 200, because they, they aren't necessarily guaranteed entry into... Uh, PGA Tour events every week because it's what is it 125 they have in and so those guys may be waiting for you know the weeks that there, there are bigger events elsewhere in the world so they can get in but uh really weird you know I I just don't understand so on top of the bottom rung PGA Tour players being able to go play DP Tour events the 10 best players in the race to Dubai standings will earn PGA Tour cards for the 2024 season so the 10 best DP Tour players can go to the PGA Tour, and the bottom guys from the PGA can go back to the DP. This is the basic framework of what minor leagues do. They feed their best players the better leagues, and that's what the DP Tour is now doing. Like, to me, this is astonishing. They would agree to do this. It says to me, more than likely, the DP Tour is in financial ruins. Interest in the Tour likely plummeting. What reason that is, I don't know. Um, obviously I don't live in Europe, haven't been in Europe in a few years. I've been there 
four or five times in the past, five or six times actually. But I don't, I don't understand that where the interest level is. Um, it just seems to me that they're throwing anything and everything at the wall to see what sticks. It appears they have no actual game plan, and have just reached the point of like hoping and praying. Like I was shocked seeing this. This is the plan: bringing the bottom level American and whatever Japanese guys to the DP tour is going to save European golf. I- I'm just I'm puzzled. Hey, how do we fix things? I don't know. Let's bring in the bottom 75 guys on the PG tour that nobody knows or cares about. That's going to do it. That's going to drive sponsors. That's going to bring in fans. Like, is that is that the real thought process? I'm amazed. I can't wait. Until someone asks John Rahm, obviously he plays quite a bit on the DP Tour, or definitely guys like Sergio or Ian Poulter, hey, what do you think about this? In a way, it's just it's double disrespectful to guys like that. Hey, we don't want you back, Sergio. We don't want you back, Ian Poulter, guys who helped create the legacy and make this tour great over the past 20 years. We don't want you back. We want Ryan Brem and SY No instead. It's... Double disrespectful on any part. I'm just, I can't fathom what's actually happening. How Keith Pelly keeps his job after this, I do not know. But apparently, he's going to.